Hmm. See, this is why you weed eat forward. Everybody's like, oh, weed eat backwards. It's, it's this and that. No, forward. Always forward. Is he poisonous? Uh, nope. Well, you know, I can't see. Hold on a minute. Let me zoom in here. My eye. We're in. Let's look at his diamond. If he's got a diamond head or slant eyes, or he got round eyes. I think he's got round eyes, so we're safe. I don't know every snake in the world, even though I'm an exterminator. Because I don't specialize in reptiles. But anyway, this is why you always weed eat forward. I've never been to this yard. This is a new property in October the whatever 15th. I don't know 14th, 13th. But I was just going along like this right here. Wee and Mr. Mad Snake. He's bit it a couple times. I'm trying to get him away from my customer's house. Yeah, he got round eyes. He ain't gonna hurt nobody. Don't come this way though. You'll get stomped. I'm just going to tell you all the way about it. It's just going to be, no, not to the customers. Go. Go. Get. Get. I wish I could just, well, I mean, I could kill it, but I don't want to kill it. So I'll just message the customer. No, you ain't going that way. I want you away from the house. The house is that way. You need to go to the woods. But anyway, let that be a lesson. Besides falling and tripping over holes and stuff, I always lead deep forward. I don't care what anybody says. That's one thing I've learned over the years is this right here. I've almost stepped on snakes, tripped over dogs, everything going backwards. Forwards. Always forwards. Look at you. You're so pretty, but you better get out of here. I'm going to tell you something. The most important thing in lawn care, no matter what anybody tells you, <laughs> most important thing is this yay old sweat towel is it gross yeah is it necessary i've taught roy to use one and then he <laughs> tells everybody it just refreshes you don't it i mean my old sweat towels are stained and i wash them every time every day but you need a sweat towel all right here's a i haven't showed y'all nothing forever on this setup anyway i got videos of the other setup i need a ratchet strap i'm using the 535 lk just to you know just to freaking use it this is the trusty 525 lst i've seen me using for i don't know three or four years and then i got another one if you follow me on instagram i noticed they put it professional in there and they took the patented off it is a 525 lst just like that one so that's what roy's went to since the 94r has become unsustainable the price to fix that uh, paws and stuff the trimmer ain't worth so i don't know i might make a mantelpiece out of it because history and there's the shakespeare head holding up good i've got it on this one and the 525 ls i got it at the other place and then the as you know the speed feed heads nothing wrong with them i got it on the 535 as well gator line square this is echo crossfire and this is titanium force husqvarna i'm one of the few people you'll see that uses everything always in search of the best i've got i love that echo i like the gator round not the gator square and i titanium force is my favorite all around i have the print pro titanium force it's pretty good Fences eat it up though. I mean, as soon as you touch a fence to it, that mud sucker's done. But I keep making these stupid little clips. And the skags still here. I've got that 580 BTS. If y'all haven't seen that, Husvarna, y'all probably ain't seen it. I don't show nothing. But I prefer the Echo for the vibration. It has no vibration. That, us Varna don't have no anti-vibe. I don't know which one's better, of course, but 
Husqvarna has the best anti-vibe in their trimmers, but none in their blowers. It's weird. I mean, a little bit, but Echo, I think, pretty much has that beat. I mean, you feel nothing, and the pads are bigger, too. So, anyway, remember, sweat towel and air compressors to save your life. You can see real if you want to. Yeah, sit you up. Watch him. Get something to do. Is that for your rabbit? Yeah, I'm going to put him in that corner. Okay, he's already in the corner. Well, I was going to put him on that toolbox. I forgot about that. Yeah, he's there in the corner. You know he ain't gonna live back here. Uh, he'll live. Through. He'll have a rough day, but he'll live. I mean, he's all right. He's small. I didn't. Whoa! Didn't, didn't hit him. <laughs> yeah, somebody had to kill his mama with a weed eater. Well, hey, there's a tire up in there. Put him in the tire. See my little Velky tire? Yeah. That Put the stuff throw in it. There you go. Yeah, that's the inner tube and the tire. I don't know what was leaking, if you remember, so I got mad at it and took that whole thing off. Yeah, I don't know. He might actually survive if you can hold that steel. If we start going around curves, we're going to be doing 70 mile an hour right now. Oh, yeah. He won't move. He has a better chance, I guess, doing that than, yeah. than if you just leave him without a mama. I, this is where, remember, I killed that one baby, hit, hit the weed eater, hit it, and it yeah, clung 50 miles away. About that time, my mama popped her head off the look. That's the saddest thing in the world, to sling a freaking baby rabbit. That's, remember, I yelled. It scared me so bad, it slung that rabbit from about there all the way. Yeah. That's depressing. <laughs> that is very depressing. Know. So I'll surprise my daughter with a little baby rat today. There you go. Got that cage. Well, I hope that rabbit survives. Never know. I believe it will. I know we have a rabbit today today. But I, I got a customer that raised a rabbit, and it's still in there. Yeah. Still in their house, or an old customer. But they found it in their yard. Who knows? I just wanted to catch that. I mean, it's not super bright. Well, it's very bright, but it's LED, I think. What it is. I just got down like big long, beautiful stripes at this house. So. Oh, what y'all guys been doing? I usually don't make videos. This, I've made several today. I never got close enough, did I? Yeah, I showed you all this crap. That's gonna be it for now. I got a good deep strap. You gotta love them straps. That's where she's shared. <coughs> I can't be loud. There's people out everywhere around here. <laughs> but I'll catch you guys later. I like old 580 BTS Mark II. I gotta get a a freaking uh blower rack and I haven't made my mind up what I'm getting this little thing keeps snapping out the back of it this middle one let's see I know why just gotta keep picking it in and out of the bed of the truck but anyway 